and find a comfortable seated position. Might just raise sit bones a little higher than the knees. We normally start our yin yoga practice, just get straight into it because yin is generally every single shape is a meditation. So today I thought we'll just take a moment to arrive, to settle. Take our arms down by the side. We'll take a breath in, reach up. And then sigh out, let go. Turning the palms up, lifting up. You might pause at the top of the breath and then sigh out. One more time. Let's bring our hands onto the body. Maybe just noticing how we feel on this day. Every time we come to the mat, we honor how we feel, honor our mind our body, our spirit, just as it is. You feel your mind telling you that something's wrong or you need to be something else, someone else, somewhere else, just notice that. Invite your attention back into the body. See if we can bring a little pattern into our breath. We're going to breathe in for five. Pause the breath at the top for five as well. And then sigh out for seven. Breathing in for five, four, three, Two, one, pause for five, four, three, two, one, sigh out for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And just find your own rhythm here, five in. Pausing for five at the top of the breath. Sighing out for seven. Keep going in your own time. As you keep breathing, extending the out breath a little longer than the inhale. Body slowly switches into this repair mode, this growth mode. You might not even be aware of it, but it happens nonetheless.
You ready? Take your hands down. We're going to start today's practice in a child's pose. We'll be doing a kind of earth element practice for our stomach and spleen meridians. Mostly grounded forms. Just come down and find yourself a comfortable position where you can bring your, let your shoulders be heavy, bring your head down towards the ground. We all look a little different in this shape, so just allow everything to soften, relax into the ground. Once you feel settled and still, Invite your awareness to the next breath, feeling belly expand. You might feel it spill into the ribs, into the thighs. Feeling a breath in the mid part of the body. You feel like the breath is coming from within the body, not so much being drawn from outside. Head is heavy, shoulders are heavy. Take two more breaths here. When you're ready, take your hands under the shoulders. Press yourself up slowly, lift the head up. We're gonna come down onto our bellies. Stand the legs long, bring your elbows under the shoulders, palms pressing down. Just sigh out, big sigh, allow the whole spine to sink down. You might like to consciously roll the shoulder joints down towards the feet. Just roll the shoulder blades down towards the feet. Take them away from the ears. Let your neck be long. Sigh out, sink down a little deeper. As you feel your breath come in, you'll feel the spine rise up. And then sigh out, sink down. Just like at the start of this practice, you might like to invite in that pattern of breath, inhaling for five, pausing for five, and then sighing out, letting go for seven.
When you're ready, just bring the whole body down to the earth. You might take the arms along the side of the body, let the head be heavy. Just allow everything to soften and surrender down. Bring our hands under the shoulders. Slowly press ourselves up. We'll come up into a seated position. Let's swing our left leg forward. And we'll bring our right foot into the thigh. You might like to pull a bit of flesh away from sit bones. When you're ready, just turn the torso towards that extended leg and just drop your head down. We're not trying to reach our toes. Just letting the head be heavy. Just feel a strong sensation down the back of the leg. Maybe a little in the hip. If there's any pain in your lower back, just come back up to sit tall again, sigh out, lean forward. Notice any busyness in your mind. You might like to just remind yourself to be here. So easy to be lost in thoughts. Just come back to your next breath. You might remind yourself there's nothing else I need to do right now. The task I need to accomplish. Often our mind is always turning a real purpose, focusing on what's coming, what's next. We might be anticipating or planning or hoping for. Every time we roll forward into this way of thinking, we lose a sense for here and now for enjoying our life as it is. Steal moments from ourselves. Might remind yourself nowhere else I need to be right now. Maybe your mind's taking you just right back at the mat. Notice the feeling of the mat of the ground. Come to the next breath. There's nowhere else I need to be but right here in this moment. Slowly walk the hands back. We'll straighten up the spine. We're going to just switch to the other side. Bring the left foot in, extend the right foot out. Turn the torso towards the foot, towards the leg. When you're ready, just sigh out. 
Allow upper body to be heavy. No straining, no striving, no efforting. Take the time, we've come to the in practice, we move away from all these things. Your next breath to slowly lift the head up. Take the hands behind the body, press down into the mat. You might like to just lift the knees up and rock from side to side. And let's roll over our knees onto all fours. And you might like to just Roll through the hips or the shoulders, just noticing any tension or points of tightness. Whenever you're ready, step the right foot in between the hands and we'll raise the head up. We're going to just start in high dragon shape. I take the hands to the knee. Just allow upper body to be soft. You might press down through the foot. Just check your knee is stacked over the ankle, supporting the body. Come back to your breath. Take this shape a little deeper. Let's take our hands down inside the arch of the foot. Stacking the shoulders over the wrists. And you'll find as you do this that you'll start to get some sensation on the adductors, the inside of the thighs, in the hip joint. Just notice the feeling, notice where the sensation is in the body. Once you feel settled here, come back into that five, five, and seven breath. Inhaling for five. Pausing at the top of your breath for five. And then exhaling for seven. Inhaling for five. Pausing at the top of the breath, and then exhaling for seven. So 
Find your own rhythm. And if that hip joint is starting to become very present for you, if the sensation is strong, just send your breath to that part of the body. Want to explore the edge of sensation in the hip joint? You might like to open the knee out a little wider, maybe even walk the foot a little wider. Just explore, be a little curious. So you follow the pattern of your breath. Just notice if your shoulders are bunched up towards your ears or your teeth are clenched, your cheeks feel tight. You might scan through the body, just finding little places of tightness or tension. Let's keep pressing through our hands. And as we do, we're going to lift our right foot and just take it wide. You might like to take a few circles with the knee, either direction, inviting our chi, our energy to flow back through this part of the body. Bring that knee down to the mat and we'll step our left hand forward, left foot forward. And right, let's slowly bring our head up, place our hands on the knee. You might take a moment just to notice different feeling from one hip to the other. What can we learn about our body today? We come to a yin practice honoring our body exactly as it is. But maybe through practice, we get a little more awareness of our habit energy, places in our body that might hold tension. Maybe through this awareness, we form small intentions and Bring about change, transformation to our lives, maybe. When you're ready, take the hands down inside the arch of the foot. If you're not feeling anything here, you're welcome to come down to your elbows, but probably not necessary. You want to keep all the sensation in that left hip joint. Let the head be heavy. Once you feel settled, just come back to that five, five and seven breath. I like to just keep your attention on the pause in between the breaths. What can we discover in this stillness?
Like before, you might like to take your knee a little wider, just find a wing to your dragon. Bring a little more sensation on the inside of the leg. Take a moment just to notice how still the mind is. Buddha tells us that whatever we think about becomes an inclination of the mind. We may not feel like we can control our thoughts, but we can focus our attention on certain things. As you feel your mind wandering away, you might just take your focus somewhere else. It might be under your feet. It might be to the deep sensation in your hip joint. It might be to your next breath. In this way, we can change our habit energy so we're not always running in a million different directions, chasing every last thing that we might think will bring us happiness, whatever it might be. Whenever we set up a condition for our happiness, something that we need in order to feel good, we also set up our own suffering. Anything can be taken away from us or may not happen as we would like. So you might like to just say to yourself, I ask for nothing else. Or maybe I don't mind what happens. Moving away from that monkey mind thing of, I'll only be happy if I have this thing or that thing. I'll only be happy if this were different. When you're ready, step that left foot back. You might like to take another little roll of the hips, roll of the spine. And we're going to come back down onto our sit bones, this time taking our legs wide. Just take the hands down to the mat in front and maybe walk them just a few inches forward. Let the head be heavy. Back to this long sensation down the back of the body. I ask for nothing else. I don't mind what happens. Let's try one of these lines out, whatever connects with you. So often just our negativity bias, our, our survival brain tells us we need things. We'll only be happy if we have things. What does it feel like to just tell yourself, I don't mind what happens. I need no more conditions in order to be happy.
Let's slowly lift the head up. And we're going to come down all the way onto our spine. And as you do, bring the knees up to the chest. We'll hug around the knees. You might like to rock from side to side. As you let your head be heavy into the mat, just tuck the chin in a little so you feel neck long, spine long. We're going to extend our arms wide. Take your shoulders down to the mat. You might like to lift the tailbone, take it an inch or so to the left. Take a breath in. As you sigh out, just slowly bring the knees down to the right hand side. You might take another breath and as you sigh out, sink even a little deeper than before. Just notice if you're holding any tension in your fingers. Open them out, turn the palms up. Let the knees be heavy. Notice if there's any tension in your cheeks, your teeth. Come back to the breath. End of your next breath, you might roll back onto the spine. Draw the knees back into the chest. This time, lift up your tailbone, and maybe take it an inch or two to the right hand side. Extend the arms wide again, take a big breath in. As you sigh out, drop the knees to the left.
Good time, but whenever you're ready, roll back onto the spine. Extend the legs out. Just come into your final resting shape. Bring the arms back down by the side of the body. Just allow everything to sink down, melt down. to notice wherever your mind is taking you. You might like to just wiggle your toes or stretch your fingers. You might lift the arms above the head and the yawn. And roll onto the side of the body.
Let's press ourselves up, hand under the shoulder. I'm going to meet in a seated position. Bring hands to heart center. I'd like to take a moment in gratitude for practice today. And let's bow to each other.